If you're a person who is about to get paid in crypto, or if you're a person who just bought some coins and just doesn't know how to sell them at this moment, this video is perfect for you. And it doesn't matter if you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano's ADA, or if you are using Binance, Coinbase, Gemini, whatever, this method I'm about to show you will work for you. What's up investors, my name is Artem Dikerf and in this video I will show you how to cash out any cryptocurrency from any platform using two methods, easy one and extremely easy one. But first, a quick word from our sponsor, just kidding, no one sponsored me. Alright, so while browsing never-ending hills of YouTube regarding this topic, I realized that there are two types of videos. The first ones are basically a video where a person is doing a screen recording and using microphone from like early 2000s, but he is showing you everything step by step. Yeah, so uh, we go here and then we click here. Uh, Alright, do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Pretty easy, very straight to the point, but unless you're using the same platform or you're dealing with the same cryptocurrency, it might might be confusing. And the second type are videos that of a very high quality and the person is extremely enthusiastic, but come on, these videos are way too theoretical and cinematic. Come on man, I just needed a quick fix, not a vlog about your day. In my video I will try to combine the best of two worlds and so I will tell you exactly what you need to know and will screen record my phone later so you can follow along. But at the same time I will explain you the whole idea about dealing with cryptocurrencies. So that sending, receiving, storing and cashing out cryptocurrencies will start finally making sense. And in order to make it even more simple and relevant I will use very popular cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Plus I will use one of the most well known known international platforms such as Coinbase and Binance. And if you are from Canada, platform options extend to BitBuy, ShakePay and Newton. But do not worry, if you are using different cryptocurrency or different platform, the idea is the same for everything, trust me. So right, the first thing that is extremely important to understand is the storage for your digital assets. And there are three possible types of them, crypto wallets, crypto exchanges and your brokerage. And the first First one is your wallet. No, of course not this one. Cringe! But instead you'll need either so-called hot or cold storage. Unfortunately I will not go into details explaining the differences because this is the whole another topic. But basically a hot wallet is a software on your computer or an app on your smartphone. While cold wallet is this USB type of looking piece of hardware. And the reason why you need this kind of wallet is because you simply need to store somewhere your crypto. If you buy Bitcoin for example it needs to go somewhere, right? And in this case hot wallets are extremely convenient and easy. You can just simply download PC software or phone app and there you have it. And the ones I'm using for my phone are called Exodus and BlockFi. And the reason why I chose them it is because they generate additional interest on cryptocurrencies that are stored inside them. And if you're interested you can create your own crypto wallet by using the link in the description and you'll get $10 in Bitcoin for doing so. The second place where you can store your cryptocurrencies is on crypto exchanges such as Binance, Coinbase or Gemini. Crypto exchanges are basically places where you buy and sell digital assets. And they are an essential part in my method because this is the place where you will be withdrawing your money to your bank account. And the third place where you can store your crypto which is not supposed to be taken seriously but I still decided to mention it. And these are different brokerages such as Wealthsimple in Canada or Robinhood in the US. And the reason why it is the worst place where you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies it is because you never actually own crypto. Instead you just buy their derivatives. Meaning that instead of buying actual Bitcoin or Ethereum you'll be just trading their price volatility. You cannot use Bitcoin that you purchase through Wealthsimple to make actual transactions. In fact, I made the whole video about this problem, so feel free to watch it if you want more details. So as a result, we have three different places where you can store your cryptocurrencies. So the first and the best place where you can store your crypto assets will be your hot or cold wallet, mainly because it provides you with the highest security and even some of them can generate additional interest. Simply consider them as high yield savings accounts. The second place where you can store your cryptocurrency are crypto exchanges. They give you the highest liquidity but not as safe as 
actual wallets. And the third place is your brokerage, assuming it even allows you to trade cryptocurrencies. This method is the most convenient, but like mentioned previously, you do not own any actual crypto. You just buy and sell its derivatives. But first of all, how do you even receive cryptocurrencies? What if your salary or your bonus is an Ethereum, because you cannot just simply deposit it in your regular bank account? And in order to do it, you need to simply like my video and subscribe to my channel. Because my name is pretty uncommon, so I don't want you to lose it. I have lots of goodies and educational videos, and I'm so confident that you will benefit from spending the time with me. Thank you so much. But seriously, how do you even receive crypto? And the answer is very simple. You would either need to create a crypto wallet or open an account with any of crypto exchanges. And both of these places provide you with the storage for your coins. Because whenever you are getting money from another person, you would need to give them your card number or bank information or PayPal address or anything like this, correct? The same thing with cryptocurrencies. You just need to have an address where people will be sending you crypto. And these addresses look like plain and simple QR codes or this big scary and long combination of numbers and letters. And you simply need to share this with another person and he will be able to send you crypto by either scanning the QR code or typing this long address. But keep in mind that for every kind of cryptocurrency their wallets will be different, meaning that Bitcoin wallet is different from Ethereum wallet. But do not worry, once you open an account or create your storage, you will have access to all the wallets at the same time and it is extremely easy to switch between them. And this is how you find your QR code and address on different platforms. This is how to do it on Coinbase. You just press on this blue circle in the middle, select receive and here you go, this is your BTC or Bitcoin wallet. If you want to switch it from Bitcoin to Ethereum, simply tap on this BTC and as you can see you can select all the other cryptocurrencies. So just let's scroll down to Ethereum, select Ethereum and here you have it, another wallet for Ethereum. And this is how you do it in Binance, just open the app, open this yellow thing at the bottom, select deposit, then switch to crypto and type currency that you are about to receive, let's say so it's Bitcoin. Then just open it and there you have it, your QR, QR code and BTC deposit address below it. If you want to receive Ethereum, just go back and instead of Bitcoin type Ethereum, open it and that's it. Here is your another wallet address for Ethereum. Alright, this is how you can do it in Canadian specific app called BitBuy. Just open the menu and scroll down to Bitcoin and there you have it, deposit. And that's it, simple as that. Same thing with Ethereum, just scroll down all the way until Ethereum, click deposit and that's it, another address for another cryptocurrency. And this is how you do it in this Canadian app Newton. This is the place where I buy personally my bitcoins. You just tap on this double arrow thing in your bottom right, then select add funds, then select crypto from wallet and that's it. This is your bitcoin wallet. In order to generate QR code, you simply tap on this generate QR code. And this QR code you can share with another person or if you want you can just copy this address and share it as well. In order to switch to Ethereum, simply click on BTC and select any other coin or specifically Ethereum and that's the same thing. Alright, this is how you do it in ShakePay, another Canadian app. It only allows you to buy two major cryptocurrencies, which as you can see are Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ok, so you just simply tap on Bitcoin, then add funds and that's it. Here is your QR code and this long address below it. For Ethereum, obviously instead of selecting Bitcoin, you just click on Ethereum and then once again add funds. And here is an example of one of the hot wallets that I'm personally using called Exodus. In order to receive Bitcoin, just simply tap on it, then click receive and that's it, here is your QR code and address. In order to receive Ethereum, just go back, tap on Ethereum, once again receive and that's it, QR code and address once again. And finally, another hot wallet called BlockFi. Just simply tap deposit crypto, select cryptocurrency that you want to deposit, let's say so Bitcoin, that's it, your QR code and address. If you want Ethereum, just go back, select Ethereum, once again your QR code and address. The easiest way of sharing your address is to simply take a screenshot of QR code and send it to another person. Or you can copy and paste this long combination of numbers and letters. But be extremely careful if you decide to manually type your wallet address. Even one wrong number or letter and your cryptocurrency is gone forever. And you will most likely will never be able to recover them. And it's gone. 
After a person has sent you crypto, it must arrive in your wallet pretty quickly. And just so you know how sending and receiving cryptocurrencies work, I will show you the whole process shortly. Ok, so buying and selling cryptocurrencies happens on crypto exchanges, such as Binance, Coinbase or Gemini. And additionally, Bitbuy, Newton and ShakePay if you are from Canada. Some of them are not actual exchanges, but instead these are platforms that connect you to the crypto exchange. Think about buying and selling crypto as buying and selling foreign currencies. In order to access Canadian dollars, you would first need to exchange your US dollars and vice versa. The same thing for Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other coin. Before buying any cryptocurrency, you would need to first deposit some actual money. And if you want to sell your crypto, you would first need to convert it into a currency of your choice and then withdraw it to your bank. So let me finally show you how to receive crypto, exchange it to your native currency and withdraw the funds to your bank. Uh, it's about damn time. First, you will need to open an account with any of the exchanges or platforms that allow you to buy or sell cryptocurrencies. These are Coinbase, Binance and Gemini and if you are from Canada, in addition to that there are Newton, Bitbuy and ShakePay. I will leave all the links in the description in case you want to open an account with any of them and get perks such as $30 bonus for your first trade. Since I am from Canada, I am personally using platform called Newton to buy and sell my cryptocurrencies. Plus, it allows you to store, send and receive digital assets. So the first thing you need to do is to open an app and find the address where person will be sending your cryptocurrency. And this is how you do it in Newton, just click on these double arrows, go to add funds, crypto from wallet and there you have an address or QR code. But if you prefer to use other platforms, just go a couple of minutes back where I show you the example of how to find your address in different platforms. And yes, do not forget to change your wallet type. If you are receiving Bitcoin, select Bitcoin. If you are receiving Ethereum, you need to select Ethereum. They have different addresses and QR codes and if you send Bitcoin into Ethereum wallet, your Bitcoin will be lost forever. After you've shared your deposit information, wait until coins arrive into your account. Then you would need to exchange your digital currency into currency of your choice. Here as you can see I'm selling fractions of my Bitcoin for Canadian dollars. And as soon as this transaction is completed, you would simply withdraw your Canadian dollars to your bank. You can do it using e-transfer if you're from Canada or simply connect your bank account. And there you have it, very easy. Nice. The whole process of receiving crypto from someone else and selling it can be summarized as following. You share your wallet address, receive cryptocurrency, convert it into currency of your choice and then withdraw it to your bank. Works exactly the same with all the other types of cryptocurrencies or platforms. This was an example of receiving and selling cryptocurrency using a platform that allows you to store and trade such currencies. But what if you received crypto in your hot wallet which only allows to store it and not sell it? Then you would need to do just one more step which is transferring your digital assets from your wallet into crypto exchange. Plus this is a good opportunity for me to show how sending and receiving cryptocurrencies works. Ok, so here we have our Exodus crypto wallet. Assume we have some fractions of Bitcoin and we want to sell it. So we'll need to transfer it to another platform which allows buying and selling, such as for example once again Newton. So we go back to Newton, select add funds, select crypto from wallet, make sure it's Bitcoin and just copy this address. Then we go back to Exodus, select Bitcoin, select send, paste the address at the very bottom as you can see and that's basically it. So I obviously do not have Bitcoin at this very moment, but as soon as I click send, Bitcoin is supposed to arrive to Newton shortly. After Bitcoin arrives to Newton, you simply sell it just like I showed you previously. And just like this it is done. Most platforms use send and receive while other platforms use add funds and withdraw. But the idea is the same. Receive or add funds gives you the address and generates a QR code that you need to share. And send or withdraw is the place where you need to input this address or scan a QR code. 
This was the easy way of receiving and selling crypto. But I have one more super easy way of doing it. And it is through your classic brokerages. Like mentioned previously, you do not deal with actual cryptocurrencies, but their derivatives instead. Here we have well simple and slightly under $270 worth of Bitcoin. But I cannot use it, I cannot order anything online using this Bitcoin. This is a derivative, I can only buy and sell it. And this is exactly what I'm going to do now. You simply go into your account, then scroll down to Bitcoin, then tap sell. In my case, I have 0.004097 worth of Bitcoin and I'm going to sell it all. So I input the exact number, then click continue, then click confirm order and that's it. As you can see, order is already complete. But now I want to withdraw my money to my bank account. So I go to this menu on the left, then funding and then withdraw funds. And then I would select crypto and type the exact amount. Tap continue, select my bank, click continue once again and submit withdrawal. And that's basically it. In 2 to 5 business days, my Canadian dollars will arrive into my bank account. If you have an option to select where to store your crypto assets, my recommendation would be hot wallets, such as Exodus that I'm using for my Cardano's ADA or BlockFi for my Bitcoin. Doing so allows you to generate interest just because you are storing your crypto with them, in addition to your crypto slowly appreciating in value. They are almost impossible to hack, and money from your call wallet will never be stolen unless you lose an actual device. While crypto exchanges can be still theoretically hacked. And definitely stay away from buying your crypto using regular brokerages such as Wellsimple or Robinhood. You will never own actual coins and you will never be able to generate interest on them. And there you have it. How to send, receive, buy, sell and store cryptocurrencies summarized. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and until next time comrades.